With my dad being a diesel mechanic, I really was around the equipment and I really kind of just wanted to follow in his footsteps and do what he did. What really sparked my interest was backup generators and how they save lives at hospitals and are there when you need them. The demand for our diesel students right now is phenomenal. Um, I'm getting two or three calls a week, people looking for technicians. There are shops just begging us, calling us all the time. Do you have a student? Can we have him now? And he hasn't graduated yet, but they want to hire him now. We start out our students with a very basic set and we move on up through theory and then actual hands-on diagnosing and we end up with a capstone course that uh, they need to be able to fix a piece of equipment without our instruction before they graduate. It's a lot of fun to come to school here because you get to do the book work and then right after the book work you get to do the lab work that pertains to it and learn what you already learned in the book hands-on actually get to do things with the equipment, do a project and be able to see that you got it done and it works at, at the end. Here in our shop you could be working on a light duty diesel, big trucks that go down the road, excavators, backhoes, piece of ag equipment, John Deere tractors, Case New Holland swathers. I was fortunate enough to get the Nebraska Machine Company scholarship. The Nebraska Machinery Sponsorship is really just a sponsorship where they pay for your tools, your books and your tuition. We have multiple industry partners that are uh, sponsoring our students, giving them full rides, and, and they're doing that because they believe in our program, they believe in the instructor's ability here. We've had a long-term relationship with Central Community College, and they've really helped us uh, develop a lot of long-term technicians. One of the great things we get out of the students that come through the college program is the work ethic, the training. They've got a state-of-the-art facility that really prepares them for the workforce and what we look for in the students. The diesel program at Central Community College is one of the most advanced and they have one of the nicest facilities around. Uh, we have a thousand horsepower Taylor Dyno. We have a set of wheel lifts, 18,000 pound wheel lifts that'll pick a class A truck six feet in the air. Um, we have an 18,000 pound rotary lift. We have uh, five monitors on the wall so the students can see all the troubleshooting manuals online. We have cameras, microphones, so everyone can hear and see well too as we're teaching if we're lecturing the class out in the shop. Made it nice because you know you're going to train on the best to work on the best. Model student for me would be somebody that uh, has the heart and desire uh, to be a technician, maybe works good with their hands. Doesn't necessarily have to be a straight A student. Is he there on time? Is he accountable? Does he want to learn? Campus here is really nice. People are really friendly and it's really calm campus the way it's set up. They got plenty of activities to do as well. After class you can go hang out with your friends in the in the dorms or in the cafeteria. I wouldn't have thought the dorms were as nice as they were, but they're some of the nicest that I've seen. If uh, you're in high school and you, you know you want to be a diesel technician, uh, that's great. If, if you're on the fence, maybe don't, don't know what you want to be, come on out to our facilities. Uh, talk to the instructors. Uh, get in touch with some of, the, uh, some of your counselors and uh, uh, check out some of the sponsorship programs that are available to you.